what you're about to see is actually based on a true story. What you choose or choose not to believe, well, that's entirely up to you. So in the meantime, get ready to turn it up, tune down and drop dead. <laughs> back at high school, right before the holidays. As usual, Miss Ryder was way too busy flirting with Mr. Hiscock. So that meant I could get on with my work, undisturbed. Guff. When is it and where about? What, so you're old enough to bum your boyfriends but you still can't read? Geezer. YM Coffee, Saturday at 8. See you there. Oh. Boys, this is our six years, you shouldn't even be in here. Stop running! Have that back, please. What, so you could throw it at me too? No, I need it for my gig. So you're in a band? Yeah, it's her first gig. Oh, so it's your first time? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm just teasing. What do you play? I'm um, a bass player. I put the ace in bass. Don't you mean you put the ass in bass? Oh, just forget it! No, no. Very noisy. What kind of stuff is it? Well, it's kind of like Napalm Death meets Neil Diamond with a touch of them. I've got some on the computer if you want to come and hear it someday. Yeah, that's the time. Alright. So, bye. After leaving those plebs back in detention, all I could think about was April Hornsby and her coming round to hear my music. Man, I thought, if I want to impress her, I better be brushing up on my licks. Life was actually starting to look pretty good. That was until I ran into Drongo Patrol. Ho oh, you, Paxi Dick! What 
Can I help you? You stupid boy. Now look what you've gone and done. Bampec 3000 SVT Pro. All tube with 9 band graphic EQ and matching 8x10 cap. Discontinued since 1990. 1000 watts of pure paste. Tell you what, you know your onions about this old beast. I must have this. How much is it? Well, you see, son, this app's been in for repair since 1989. The guy's never been back for it. I've never been able to get a peep out of it. How did... Blimey. You've got a touch there. Okay. Can I try it? <laughs> yeah, sure, I suppose so. Have it. Well, if the previous owner had given the monkeys about it in the first place, it wouldn't have been here for 22 years in for repair, I suppose. To be honest, business hasn't been good since the Tories came into power. But I can see you're serious, so if you really want it, you need to put a deposit down. I'm in school and I don't have any money. I've got my bass, it's a Fender yeah, Jazz bass, great guitar, I had one when it was your age as well. But uh, these days everybody just wants to appear on X Factor and have a daft haircut and stuff. But uh, I think you're different. I think you want to really give it a go, don't you? Make it your life. I'll tell you what, I'll take your base as a deposit, but if you're no back this time tomorrow, it's going in the front window and it's getting pawned, okay? It's a done deal, mister. Right, son, okay. Let's do the relevant paperwork. Now, what's your name? It's completely ridiculous. You and we spending money that me and your dad's no got buying an arm. We've no cars, not at all, and you're away spending our money. And maybe if me and your dad hadn't had such a good time at the take that concert, we might have the money for you to go and buy what you need. But mum, you'll never have to buy me another amplifier ever again. This sort of thing's gonna last me till I die. And if I don't go back to the shop tomorrow, my base is gonna be pawned. You'll back me up, Dad, won't you? I'll take the kid to the shop tomorrow, and I'll take care of it. So, why would you change the band name, son? It felt like a change, you know. I changed it to brown noise. It's a frequency that makes people shit themselves. I want to do it one of the gigs. It'll be awesome. Just everyone shitting themselves. Such a funny, honestly. I prefer certain death. Marcel. Whatever it was went straight through the eyes, no exit wounds, way too big to be bullets, death would have been instantaneous. There were no witness reports of gunshots, no sign of a struggle, all the cash is still in the register, there's absolutely no sign of a murder weapon, and the entrance point, well that were locked, I just don't get it, it doesn't add up. We'll get in there, we'll just get the biggest, fattest, most beasting up they've got, right? It doesn't matter about money. Judas Priest, what's going on here? Oh, kid, you're not allowed in here. But, but I just came in to get my, my base, my amp. I put the deposit down yesterday. Look, kid, this is a crime scene. Nothing can leave the shop. I've got a gig tomorrow. I need my base and my amp. Is that your dad? Yeah. Come on, lads. Come on. 
right, don't tell your mum what happened back in the shop, all right? Because if she finds out, she'll go totally off her tits. Obviously, I'm not going to tell her. It's practically grave robbing, but we've still got the arm. Listen, you little rat. you got to take this seriously, right? Somebody died back there, can I mean? Honestly. What the hell is his problem? plan for the gig? Well, I've kind of been writing a new song. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, big girl. Mm -hmm. That's quite a romantic song. Mm -hmm. Oh, so uh, <laughs> it sort of goes like this. <laughs> That's good. You should see this. Oh shit, something must be wrong with it. Like, there's something wrong with the electrics as well. The back panel's not coming off. Do you want a hand with that? Son, I'm fed up picking up after you. My God, what have I 
told you about these. God, do you ken that they breed mutant chickens with, with six legs and six wings so they can get more meat off them, to get more money from them, and you enjoy eating them? It's all about making extra money off you by making mutant chickens with extra legs and extra wings. Come on, April, it's time you were going up the road. Anyway, do you think we're going to go to see the kids first get quenched, please? Yeah, I'll be there. Excellent. Mark Bass sounds totally meant that. Good man. Pretty nervous about the gig. Nice. Well, you should be because it's your first time. Uh, yeah. I need to go, but I'll see you later. Which way you're going, dickhead? You are so dead. Someone really needs to teach this queer hawk how to swing. Shut up, we're gonna fuck you up until. <laughs> see, you're so gay. What's wrong with being gay likes? <laughs> Right, come on guys, yeah, there's no one. Right, you shouldn't be fighting in the I am. Right? Just no one, eh? Funny. Nice one, Bobag. You're a piece of shit. You reek of home. What? Oh yeah, see you on Friday, guys. Hey. Hey. I thought it was cute that you were that nervous. I'll pop home tomorrow and see you.
can't tell anybody. I'm being serious. So are you saying your aunt killed those three dickheads from school? Yeah. Awesome. It's just too spooky to be coincidence. It's like the aunt's cursed or something. Just don't know what to do. How about we look it up in the yellow pages? Like, and fire exorcist. Would it be under A or E? Let's just hope that we don't end up in A and E. It's got to be some kind of government experiment or like a 9-11 terrorist or something like that. How about we use an internet? What was the name stenciled on Amphire? Magog. Magog. That's it. Magog. Looks like they're a band. Black metal by the looks of it. Oh, I hate black metal. You're such a bassist. It says here Magog were a satanic black metal band from Scotland that were big in the 80s. They were famed for their devil worshipping and even set fire to virgins on stage after defiling them. Whatever that means. Looks like a YouTube link. Click on that one. The thing is just too big and bloody ugly, Jim. And apart from that, it's far too wind. The welcome demise of Magog happened in 1989 after the death of the drummer and founding member, Cave Grove. Even to this very day, Cave Grove's death is shrouded in mystery. What was left of his body was found in the back of the transit van with various puncture wounds and a missing head. The only way they could identify him was from DNA samples from his beard. Wanted in connection of Grohl's death, real name Colin Cooper, is a frontman, Necro Necromaker. That's it. His whereabouts are currently unknown, but it's presumed that he's staying in the Philippines. There's no way the kid can move it either. He's far too wee. Plus the total fan belts in his band. I'll never give him a hand, yeah? Shortly after Cave's death, his brother and bass player of Magog, Natas Cooper, was incarcerated in Temple Hall Mental Hospital in East Fife. Having claimed that his amplifier was possessed and was responsible for the death of his brother and the loss of his finger. Well, I don't think there's any option. I think we're just going to have to get rid of it. Let's do it. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry to have to do this to you, son, but for your own sake, could you please go through your story just one more time for me? I've already told you. Where's April? She's at home with her mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight. You say you left your guitar as a deposit at the shop. That night you convinced your mum and dad to go out and buy it for you. And then when you went to pick it up the next day, the shop owner was dead. And then on the Saturday night, at your band's concert, three teenage boys were found with their heads all blown to cock. And now your mum and dad are dead. And you're trying to tell me that the amplifier is responsible for these deaths. Look, I know you're bound to be going through hell. Believe me, I've been there too. But you need to come clean and tell the truth. How would you possibly know what I'm going through right now? A few years ago, I lost my only son. It'd be about your age now. So I know what it's like to lose somebody close to you. You feel like you're going wild or you're losing your mind. But to say that an amplifier 
is responsible for the deaths of six people, including your parents, and was brought back to life by a heavy metal band. You can appreciate how crazy that sounds. I know it sounds crazy, but take me along to Temple Hall Mental Hospital and I'll prove it to you. Well, it's not like we've got anything else to go on. Let's go for it. Okay, so this is the place. Hopefully his story checks out, although I'm not completely convinced. I know the guy who was here, he had the amp. I know he's here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but pretty sure it's not completely sure, you know. Yeah, he's in here. It's the guy who had the amp. The amp that killed my mum and dad. Sorry, father. Peacock. Peter and the singer, both the same person. I can get the proof that he killed my mum and dad in the pawn shop owner. Look, get a grip of yourself. Otherwise, I've got a good mind to leave you here. Oh, come on. Room for one more? Well, we'll have to fill out the irrelevant paperwork. Is that a half or a full? No, I must warn you. Mr. Cooper is heavily medicated, but don't worry, he's very docile. Kind of like a brontosaurus just basking in the Triassic breeze. <laughs> he's extremely unresponsive. He's not said a word since the day he came in in 89. He occasionally gets some fan mail. He was in some famous pop group, Maycock or something. Hello, Mr. Cooper, how are you today? You've got some visitors. Aren't you a lucky boy? You're his second visitors today, and that's the most he's had in years. Okay, kid, here's your chance. Hi there, Mr. Cooper. My name's um. Well, that doesn't really matter. You need to tell Detective Burnett here that what actually happened to your brother. See, I've got your amp, the Bampeg 3000, and you know what it's capable of. It killed my mum and dad. Please, just say something. Please. The amp, it killed my mum and dad, just like it killed your brother. She's the only one that can help me. Come on, kid, we're wasting this time here. No, Mr. Cooper, please. My mum, your brother, the amp. I know what it's capable of. No, I can prove it with a missing finger. <laughs> Without any real solid proof, I didn't have a leg to stand on. Officially, I was still in police custody, and it's not like I could have went home, even if I wanted to. I had no one to go home to anyway. Burdette is either starting to believe me, or he just felt plain sorry for me, or possibly a bit of both. He could have easily put me into care and said, see ya, but he didn't. Instead, he told me, I'm sure you're not capable of killing all those people. But whoever or whatever killed them, I'm going to find out. Come on. He took me to his own home. I'm sure that's illegal right there. Even if he is a cop. I'm sure what he thought was going to be a straightforward case it was only getting more and more mental by the minute. I didn't think his missus was too pleased. family. He's got nowhere else to go. Is this the same kid that's the only link to all of these murders? Yeah, but... Uh... Mark, not only is he your only suspect, but you promised never to bring your work home with you ever again. I mean, look what happened the last time. 
I shouldn't even have to remind you of this. I know, love, I know. But this time I'm going to make things right. Making things right isn't going to bring him back. What a kid. Bloody hell. decided to leave town. April tagged along with us too. I lost my mum and dad, and Burdette lost his only son too. You see, I've got a new family now, and we're off to start a new life together. A new chapter. They used to say that rock and roll was the devil's music, but now I know that to be true. I stared evil right in the face, but my only fear is it coming back to haunt me.